So today we have ourselves a custom Tim Bay Buccaneer Stadium that I've created for Man 25 and we are going to no clip inside and outside of this stadium. Shout out to the comic section for suggesting that we do the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, that person, let me see real fast. Boom, 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 is AJD Productions 1287. So starting off right away, we have kind of a mixed up combo of the left side of the field is red. The right side of the field is kind of darker, right? And then, of course, either end zones have this bad boy right here. I did make the outside of the field, again, a reddish type color. It also does have Tom Brady um, in the background. It's kind of weird. It's hard to see because of the way the field is oriented. But we got Buccaneers right there. We got his arm. And again, we have the Bucks, you know, Swords logo, again, underneath of the field. So this is what it looks like from a broad point of view. So like, for example, if we go ahead and go like this, this is what you can see. You can see that's the back of his helmet where it says Bucks. Those are his arms on either side. And then of course the bottom, you do have the actual Buccaneers logo. So for the stands, I completely made them, um, the ramps walking up are black, but the actual seats and everything are all red. So you can see every single seat, which was gray before is now red. So you have a nice little red and black combo to you kind of go with the Buccaneers colors. So, of course, you know, the ramps are going to be black. While, of course, the, um, what's called railing here is red. And the flooring is also red. I kept this as a gray color and didn't change it. Just because I thought it kind of looked good. It was a nice little, you know, um, difference from the red on this to red to this. So I wanted to make it, of course, just being gray. And keeping kind of how it was by default. Um, I did make all the ramps on the upper sections black. So you can see it's a little bit more pronounced black on the upper sections while the lower sections, it's a little bit less. Again, trying to make it as different as possible while keeping, you know, it looking as good as possible. So right here we have it as you go through here. This is all black, but then you also still have that red color that I feel like looks really, really good. Uh, down here you can see they're a lot more red and a lot more black right between where the um where you walk up the stairs so that's the crowd and the crowd area now we have a lot more different things to look at first off yes I changed all the banners of this stadium. Uh, we got Mike Evans on the right-hand side here. On the left, we have Mike Evans um, and a couple other ones as um, Jedis. We have Tampa Bay Buccaneers logo. And then we have a bunch of Tampa Bay Buccaneers ships that are fl uh, flying in, the pirate ships. So that's one banner. The other banners we have is this is actually what the field looks like. So imagine the field with this logo right here. That's what's on the field. I also have it on a banner right here. All the different flags that are flying in this stadium. Um, let me, where are the flags at? Right here. So, bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna try to get this to work correctly. So this is what all the flags look like in this stadium. So there's a bunch of flags that are flying all over the stadium. And they all, into the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they have this logo right here, which is a skull logo. And I don't have the bottom part of it, but the bottom part has it as like the Panthers on a, um, on a knife or whatever. Um, obviously, listen, it's a rivalry. That's kind of how it works. But this is what the, all the flags look like. You can see a little bit better of it right here. So you can see this is, again, the I changed the ship up. I made it so all the flags had this logo. And as we go throughout on both sides, by the way, you can see you have the uh, Buccaneers helmet with the skull. And the whole entire ship is now that logo. Which, again, I just think it kind of adds a little bit of pizzazz to the actual 
a ship because now it's like you know this is not just a football team this is a culture right this is a unit we're not messing around this is not a you know haha jokes type of thing this is an actual you know this is the tampa bay buccaneers on the back i do have this as the uh little thing for raymond james stadium uh this used just to be the tampa bay buccaneers i changed that up a little bit um, going down here to the ship outside the stadium, I also changed that again to that, you know, uh, logos I talked about before, which is the skull logos. It's all over this ship. So again, just kind of keeping that same tradition there. Um, I made the things out here a little bit more red when it comes to the beach chairs and stuff like that. Um... On the outside of the stadium in general, you can see I made this all red. This was usually just gray and colorless. I made this all red. I also made the parking lot black instead of it being just, again, just, you know, this color right here. This is what the color used to be for all this area. I really like the red-black combo. I think that makes it look a lot more elegant. And it also makes it look more like, okay, this is the stadium. Also, we have this red and black type of, like, I want to say like almost looks like spray paint. It looks like it's like kind of wearing off, but I kind of like it because it gives that more kind of like old type of aspect to it. Uh, this is the Jedi thing with Mike Evans here. As you can see, he's holding a Jedi um, lightsaber. And then we of course do have Tom Brady and the Bucks over there. Uh, I made this whole building right here, just this section right here red. Uh, I think that looks a lot better overall wise. Um, Going down here, we have that thing again right there. Um, I made all these like different units here red. These usually just be gray. Kind of looks bland to me. So I wanted to make them as you know detailed as possible with the red. Um, again, you know, just kind of changing it up a little bit. Up here, everything is about the same. Again, I don't change every living detail of these stadiums. If I think that they're already good, I'm not going to change it too much. But for example, like what used to be up here on the left-hand side was advertisement boards. It was like advertising stuff that was like fake sponsors. Um, I don't think that looks good. I really don't. I don't think fake sponsors look good. I think I'd rather see Buccaneer players and Buccaneer stuff. You know, if this is a Buccaneer stadium, I want to see Buccaneer stuff. I want the team. I want to see the team celebrated when it comes to this. Also, the bathrooms. The bathrooms have the skull right here painted on it. Bro, do tell me that does not go hard. Tell me this does not go hard. Bro, you are like walking, you go to the bathroom? Really? Yeah, look at that. Bam. Skull just staring at you with the flaming eyes and it says Buccaneer or Bucks. And that's on both bathrooms. I'm telling you right now, I need to be, I need, they need to hire me to freaking design this stadium. I will design this stadium correctly. Um, for the little um, tents right here on either side, it does have Mike Evans. Um, for this area right here, it does have Mike Evans on one side, and that's actually it for the uh, little sides of Mike Evans. But I think that looks good. Again, you know, I could have made the skull, but I wanted to make Mike Evans there. He is a prominent figure in Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. So I wanted to add, you know, him in there just to add a little detail there. I didn't change any of these buildings right here. And I also kept the white on the outside right there. For this side, I did make Raymond James Stadium all red. Um, you know, Buccaneers colors. I thought that looked a little bit better and more, you know, enhanced. And again, like I said, yes, all of these flags right here does actually have, you know, that logo right there, which I think is cool. Um, I also made the top here a different logo. As you can see, that is not the typical Tampa Bay Buccaneers logo. Same thing for here. Kind of looking from a top-down angle as there. And then there's one right here. So I also made the top of this black. Again, I think it looks a little bit better than how it did before. Um, let's go down to here. These are the banners that go into the locker room. I kept them the same. I don't think that they needed to be changed. I think they look really good with the skull. And obviously, you know... 
Again, if I think it looks good, I'm just gonna keep it how it is. If I think it needs to be changed, I will change it. Locker rooms are pretty much nothing on this stadium, so it's not like there's really anything too crazy that needs to be changed. But that is my custom Tampa Bay Buccaneers stadium. If you guys want me to do another stadium and um, you want me to do your said team, tell me down below and I will go ahead and do so. But see you guys in the next one. Peace out.